Oloibiri. 1956. First oil discovery in Nigeria after half a century of exploration activities. 50 kilometers offshore by Yosa State and covering over 640 square kilometers is a Nigerian independent oil and gas company also making history. In 2015, First ENP acquired Chevron's 40% equity in OML's 83 and 85 and got ministerial consent which granted operatorship to First ENP and the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation NMPC First ENP Joint Venture. 2017 saw the start of the full 3D seismic acquisition of the blocks flagged off by the late Dr. Mike T. Baru, former Group Managing Director of the NMPC. Processing and interpretation of the acquired 3D seismic data showed significant increase in the resource volumes of the blocks. In 2018, the joint venture final investment decision was taken and this project fully commenced. The NATRIG was contracted and arrived in the field on 31st March 2019 to commence drilling activities. The NATRIG is a 400-foot water depth rated offshore jackup rig owned and managed by Bore Drilling in support of the federal government's drive for local content development. The fabrication contracts were awarded to competent Nigerian companies. The first steel cut to commence fabrication of the conductor-supported wellhead platform occurred at the Avian Yard on December 19, 2018 in Port Hackett. The fabrication and installation of two conductor-supported platforms, CSP, at Ayala and Madu Fields. The subsea structures and the drilling deck model were fabricated first to allow drilling to commence. This was followed by the fabrication, loadout and installation of the production deck model weighing about 300 tons and that the delicate operation successfully completed. This brought to fruition and delivery of the modular conductor-supported platform CSP, a historic and technologically advanced oil and gas exploration and production feat accomplished by Nigerians. This accomplishment was strongly supported by the Federal Government of Nigeria through the NMPC, the Department of Petroleum Resources, the Nigerian Content Development Monitoring Board, and local Nigerian banks. The Nigerian Content Development Monitoring Board, NCDMB, recognized First ENP as the most compliant independent company. The subsea umbilicals, rises, and flow lines, surf, were procured and installed to connect the wellheads to the floating production storage offloading vessel, FPSO. The flow lines and risers transport hydrocarbon from the wells to the FPSO for processing. The umbilicals transport power and provide a communication link between the FPSO and the wellhead platform. Production from the wells will be processed through the floating production storage and offloading unit positioned at Ayala Field. The excellent partnership between NMPC, Nigerian's Department of Petroleum Resources, DPR, First ENP, Yinsen and Capel Shipyard ensured that the Abigail Joseph FPSO was refurbished in record time, taking seven months to complete. The FPSO has the capacity to process 60,000 barrels of oil per day and 700,000 barrels of storage capacity. Associated gas produced will be used as power for the FPSO as well as injected into the wells for storage and later produced for the domestic market. HSE Go Zero objective was met as the project was completed with over 2.5 million man-hours with no lost time incident. At the heart of everything we do is the community. 
and in line with the environment, social and governance standards, we are able to operate, relate and interact cordially with these communities. These communities are Koluma 1, Koluma 2, Ikeni, Frupa, Fishtown, Eze 21, Eze 22, and Shangana. Together, we are given a new, relevant, and uplifting meaning to the term mutually beneficial relationship. Even before we commence field operations, we engaged the neighboring communities and signed a global memorandum of understanding. We have a social performance strategy that is focused on education, economic empowerment, health, and a strong stakeholder engagement process. Education. Teacher training in order to deliver quality education. Economic empowerment. Training on CV writing skills for youth. Economic empowerment. Youth from the community that have secured employment on the FPSO. We meet regularly with the communities to provide updates on the project and to aid program planning and implementation. Now, with all packages in place, we've got First Oil. A record from final investment decision to First Oil in two years. Date of First Oil, October 21st, 2020. Congratulations to Nigeria and the NAPC First ENP joint venture. Today, we launched this phenomenal project. Ayala Madu Development, costing an estimated $1 billion. Holy Nigerian Executed Project, with a unit development cost of $2.9 barrels of oil equivalent and $6.8 barrels of oil equivalent unit operating cost. HSE Goal Zero Achieved, with full support from partners and our neighboring communities, we present this 100% Nigerian executed project. A lot has led to this day and a lot more to follow with discovered resource volumes for both OML's 83 and 85 total recoverable oil and condensate volumes of 242 million stock tank barrels and 712 billion standard cubic feet of gas while the undiscovered resource volume stands at 145 million barrels of oil equivalent. This is not the end. It was just the first day.